Today we're going to take a look at measuring the area of a parallelogram. So if I look at my whole parallelogram here, I see I've got the base and I can find the height, but is it easy to just count the squares on this one? It isn't, is it? Because a lot of the squares are cut off. So let me show you what we can do to help us be able to find the area of a parallelogram. So I have this other parallelogram here. It's equivalent. So I'm going to do some work with it. Watch. Look what I did. I've turned it into a rectangle. Could we count? or measure the, the area of this rectangle now? Yeah, we could. We've got 10 units here at the bottom and five here. We know this is gonna be 50 units squared again. And and is that then the value of the area of this parallelogram? It's the same, it's the same parallelogram. We just turned it into a rectangle to make it easier for us to find the area. And what do you notice about this rectangle and this parallelogram? Look, the bases are the same, the heights are the same. So when the base and the height of a parallelogram and a rectangle are the same, then their area will be the same. I wonder if you can do this with more parallelograms.